Does a camera alone make a photographer great? Absolutely not. But the right tool and the right hands are both essential to achieving perfection. Film provides an aesthetic, a process, and quality that remains unparalleled in the digital realm. After Kodak announced it would bring back its ectochrome film, five years after it was first discontinued, Time Lightbox is taking a look at the state of film photography asking the manufacturers and photographers to explain why they are still backing the analog format in the digital age. We've also asked renowned professional photographers to name the film cameras, provided here by the School of the International Center of Photography, that fit any angle you strive to achieve. Here are their answers. Number 1. Pentax K1000. If you are looking to get into, or back into, photography, this is the camera to use. It has all of the basics, and nothing more. A fully manual camera, the Pentax K1000 is a workhorse. It is often used in schools across the world as an learnable and unintimidating tool for budding photographers. We still prefer those cameras to teach kids on, because they are so easy to use and practically indestructible says Wellesley High School photo teacher Doug Johnson. The dime a dozen camera has a solid underground market on eBay and in second-hand store. Number 2. Leica M6. It is not easy to sum up what the Leica M6 means for photography. Consider it the Rolex or Porsche of cameras, built with precision. These cameras are prestigious enough to justify the high price tag. I like to shoot on a Leica. Mostly because it's so unobtrusive, says photographer Jessica Dimmock. I think that shooting film kind of specifically because of the Leica, allowed me to understand what it could be to be really intimate and really quiet with people that I shoot with, because it's almost inaudible. I think that's when I realized how intimate photography could really be. The camera pictured here is the one Jessica used to shoot her story The Ninth Floor, which follows a young woman through her heroin addiction. Number 3. Minolta Hi-Matic AF2 Why make photography more complex than it needs to be? This camera will do everything you need and little more. It fully automates the process for even the laziest of photographers. Photographer Ricky Powell puts in truer words. It's simple. It's easy to work with. I just love it. It's got sentimental value to me. That's what I used when I started hitting up the nightclubs and art openings. It just suited me well. It's easy breezy. It's not heavy. Bulky like an SLR. Not complicated with all kinds of numbers and measurements. It's just point and shoot. Which is just perfect for a lazy mofo like me. With autofocus, automatic exposure, and flash what else does it need? Number 4. Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2 Dot the medium-format single-lens reflex camera is a cult favorite among photographers. Its modular design allows for the accessories to be easily swapped. On top of removable lenses and viewfinders, the back can be digital or analog. It's still used by select street photographers, but can be widely found in photo studios. It's heavy, it's cumbersome, it's not pretty looking says portrait photographer Ryan Plefuger. But he finds those attributes work in his favor. I need something that feels substantial. It's a great camera to have on a tripod. It still has a physical presence in the room. Here's a fun fact about the Mamiya RZ67. It was used by photographer Charles O'Rear to photograph the rolling green hills in Bliss, Microsoft's desktop photo seen by over a billion people. Number 5. Hasselblad 500CM. This is the camera that helped make Hasselblad a household name. It is modular like the Mamiya but has a distinct advantage. Carl Zeiss lenses. The German-made specimens consistently produce extremely sharpest images. The Hasselblad solid build allows the cameras to easily stand the test of time. Photographer Dan Winters agrees. It's an unbelievable platform. And that 100mm lens is just the lens that I love. It comes down to what works for you. What combination helps you make the picture you want to make? I'd say that combination is what helps me make the picture I want to make. The Hasselblad 500cm and Zeiss lenses can still be easily found on second-hand markets, but beware that time has not brought the prices down on these gems. Number 6. Fujifilm Instax 210 Instant The Fujifilm camera is rapidly filling the hole left by Polaroid's demise. They sold almost 4 million cameras in 2014, 5 million in 2015 and expect to have sold 6.5 million in 2016. In an age when photographers demand instant gratification, instant film provides it in a physical way. The camera is simple with a retractable lens and built-in flash. Built of mainly plastic, its true draw is the Fujifilm's Instax Instant Film which is readily available at pharmacies and camera stores around the world. The Instax 310 packs a few more features in a new design, 
but you can't beat the 210's price. Number 7. Impossible I1. Polaroid Instant Film might be a thing of the past, but the folks over at the Impossible Project are doing everything they keep it alive. They bought the last remaining Polaroid factory days before it went out of business, and have been experimenting with recreating the film to relive its glory days. Their first original camera is equipped with fast autofocus, an optical viewfinder, and most visibly a larger LED flash ring. The camera even connects via Bluetooth to an iPhone or tablet for advanced functionality, something few film cameras have had the need to do.